When the Chicago Board of Trade opened more than 150 years ago, the only way to make a trade was through open outcry. In the past three decades, however, electronic trading has begun to take over from those shouting at the top of their lungs. After numerous mergers and acquisitions, the Chicago Mercantile Exchange has become the world's largest futures exchange company and executed 11.6 million contracts per day in April. Late this week, however, the Wall Street Journal reported that gaps in information timing could benefit some traders. The newspaper said high-speed traders are using a hidden facet of the Chicago Mercantile Exchange's computer system to trade on the direction of the futures market before other investors get the same information. The report, based on information from unnamed people familiar with the matter and reviews of trading records by the Wall Street Journal, found that the advantage is often just 1 to 10 milliseconds. But that's enough time for a computer-driven commodity traders to detect when their orders have been executed, allowing them to take further action before the rest of the market can detect any changes. The Tab Group, a financial market research and strategic advisory firm, says open outcry exchanges have lost 20% of their business to the computer trades. And according to its findings, high-frequency trading accounts for more than 60% of futures market volume, up from 47% in 2008. This week, CME officials said, our goal is to bring variability as close to zero as possible, and we have made significant steps to address latencies related to trade confirmations. The company also stated, out of more than 300 million messages that come into our platform each day, there may be times when customers can experience a latency of a few milliseconds between the time they receive their trade confirmations and when that information is accessible on the public feed. However, these instances are not consistent and vary across asset classes.